In this example, if we're looking at open pit recons in particular or compliance to design, um, the work that Ravi and the team at Straos have done is, is very impressive in my personal opinion. Um, what I've done here is taken data from um, drone scans, uploaded that into Straos, and that's been automatically processed. I'll step you through the actual software and its abilities and what we can do in this right now. So this was a drone picked up in Western, uh, site picked up in Western Australia. That image has been processed and the AI generation has gone through and picked up the crest and the toes. So obviously we've got the crest is bringing on as orange and the toes is yellow. I'll zoom out a bit so you can obviously see the full impact of the pit. And I've since then gone just as a time saver and created two areas of interest. So if there's, you can obviously complete any reconciliations on the pit as a whole, or if there's areas in particular that you wanna focus on by simply coming along, adding and adding a polygon, you can create any of the geometries. I've created geometry B and geometry A here, which will then allow us to focus our recons on these two areas. So, if we want to look at high wall height, I guess actually once the imagery has been uploaded and processed and the AI has gone through and recognized the crest and the toes, it's critically important to also go through with a set of eyes and validate what it's picked up. Every bit of um, analysis that's done from this point forward will be based on the current pickup of the crest and the toes. So you always want to go through and make sure that what it is identifying as crests and toes are actually accurate. What we can do here is bring in the projected high wall height. So depending on what our pit metrics are, and obviously the slider over to the left, um, depending on what we want to look at, what our wall design height is, we can change what we're viewing in the screen to highlight areas of concern. Obviously, if anything over in this example, say anything over 20 metres is of concern to you and over the actual design height of the wall, you can highlight that as an easy way to visualise what's in compliance and what's out of compliance. Uh, we'll now look at bench face angle. So again, toggle on bench face angle and this is here, anything under 57 degrees or anything fatter than 57 degrees is highlighted green and yellow sits between 57 and 63. Again, if I want to change that, I can do so very easily just by sliding the toggle on the left-hand side to identify any areas of concern. If we then want to look at catch burn width, so we've looked at uh, our batter height, bench face angle, and now we're looking at the width that we've actually achieved on our catch berms. Again, toggling through, if we're concerned right, Anything under five meters should be highlighted red. That's what you've got there. So depending on what our site requirements are and what our individual wall designs are, it's an easy way to visualize what we've got. Uh, when you compare that back to the manual reconciliation open pit process that we looked at previously, um, I did this in a fraction of the time is what it took me to do the, the manual work. Now, the beauty of this, obviously, the processing is one part of reconciliation and obviously setting up the metrics that we want to review. Um, but then also report generation so we can then distribute that report to site plays a massive part. 